Hello and welcome to Prequel to the Sequel. My name is Dwayne and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all the books I got in a recent library sale. So first off I have Unwrapped Sky by Rorick Davidson. Uh, I picked this up because it looked like it was in pretty new condition first of all. And then I also looked at the cover and thought it looked pretty nice. Uh, I like the way that it looks. And lastly I saw that it seemed different to me than any other fantasy sci-fi that I've seen before in that it has minotaurs. Um, I mean, I guess there could be other science fiction or fantasy where there are minotaurs and there are definitely um, uh, fantasy s stories or series where there are like uh, animal sort of hybrids, like uh, animal-human hybrids, but uh, minotaurs uh, just seemed intriguing to me as a plot device. Then next up I have Hesitation Wounds by Amy Koppelman. Uh, I don't really know that much about this except that it's uh, about a psychologist and it's about her dealing with a patient that she has named Jim. Um, and the last sentence says that it's gorgeously unsettling and that also made me want to pick it up. Um, it's relatively short as well, so I should be able to get through it pretty quickly when I actually pick it up and read it. But uh, unsettling, uh, that word, makes me think that it could be a suspense or thriller, which I haven't really read at all this year. So I plan on picking this up before the end of the year for sure. Then next I found this, which is a short story collection for uh, science fiction and fantasy stories. And I haven't really been reading that much short stories, so I've been really wanting to get into more, so I went ahead and picked that up as well. And next up, I have um, three more books, and they're all random books in a series, but I went ahead and picked them up because they were so cheap. Uh, first off, I have Endymion by Dan Simmons. Uh, I don't really know anything about this series at all, but I've been seeing these books for a few years now. And the covers always uh, intrigued me. They looked really uh, weird, especially this character right here with that. I, I don't know if it's armor, but it looks pretty cool to me. Uh, so I went ahead and picked this up. Then I got this, The Last Star by Rick Yancey. It's, I think, yes, the final book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this series is any good, but I've been wanting to read it for a while. Uh, and this looks brand new, like it just got picked up off the shelf at Books A Million or something. And I found this for a dollar, so I knew I needed to get it then because I would never find it that cheap. Then I found this. It's The Plains of Passage by Jean... M. Aul. Uh, and I think it's the fourth book. I might be wrong, but it's uh, in the Earth's Children series. Uh, the only reason I picked this up was, for one, it was really cheap and hardcover, so that's a plus. And also, I knew if I put it back, since I had never heard of this series before and it's pretty old, I think it's from like the 90s, but uh, anyway. I knew if I put it back, I would probably never remember uh, to look this series up, and so I went ahead and bought it. But uh, just based on what the description told me, uh, I didn't want to read too much in case it would uh, contain spoilers, but I read enough to get sort of a gist, the gist of what was going on. Uh, it's about these two characters right here going across Ice Age Europe, I believe it said. Uh, yes, Ice Age Europe, and so I think it's going to be sort of a historical fantasy. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be fantasy or if it's just more of uh, historical and it's just fiction, so historical fiction. Um, but either way, it sounded pretty interesting, so I went ahead and picked it up. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you've read any of these books or have any questions about these books, Feel free to comment down below and like and subscribe to see more.